Hey guys, Ankh Gaming back with you again. Just plugging in my uh, headset here. I'm looking forward to Black Friday for the potential to get a new headset. So, um, when we left off, I was working on this machine to automatically create refined um, uranium for us, uranium cells. And what I decided to do is the space was just a hair too short. I figured out why these tables weren't working. The output is the top, the input's all the other sides. So, I have an even more basic system set up here. This is my uranium input, which I'm going to pipe this up to the other system to route the uranium directly here. So, we'll set that up eventually. But I'm thinking, I mean, this facility, it was a grand idea and all, I just don't think it's nearly big enough to do everything we want. As I mentioned in the previous episode, I'm thinking I'm going to turn the quarry space. I'm going to put some floors in there once I get a flying ring uh, and some other EMC things just to help us build. And we're going to build a factory out of that hole. Using it as kind of a, a base, I think. So anyways, but what's this machine do? This machine will pump out uranium from here, condense it for us, put it in here, where I've already stocked it with cells because cells they're quick to make. It makes 16 uh, per craft, so I mean I made all those out of one stack basically of 10. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and throw the uranium in here. I'll start crafting cells for us and putting them in here. Now the thing is this chest can only hold each uranium cell does not stack, so I need a double chest. So let's get on that real quick. There's some wood. And get a couple more planks. Do, do, do. It's good. So, double chest. Anyway, let's use up uh, these five planks. That should work, right? There we go. And we're going to double chest this. I could probably put it right there, right? Nope. Right there. So there we go. So this will fill up this double chest for us. Now as you can see, I started building additional walls here to make uh, other little machine areas. Now I have this hooked up like that right now. I need to put a lever. Um, I'm thinking what I want to do as far as a lever is... I could run it over. Um, I don't know how this is going to work out. Can I put it on there? No. So I could have it come around like this, or even like this. This should work. Let's see if I can make a lever. We need a stick and a piece of cobblestone. Let's put these pipes in the chest real quick. Pipes, cobblestone, and a stick. Did I just hear something lay an egg? Levers. Now I think this should work. So yeah, that'll turn on our machine. So it's good to know. Got a little bit of lag there. We still have uh... Is this texture not loading? It looks super dark to me. No, it's loaded. It's just really dark. Alright, so we have a bunch of stuff and... Uh, I think what we're going to work on is base level solar, f uh, solar panel, not solar panel, but, um, where's my sword? Oh, there are some eggs. What was I going to say? Uh, s EMC flower, you know, uh, power flower. <clears throat> and just to get the basic one, we're going to need some diamond, which I don't think we have. Let's go check our chest. Uh, we do have some ores in here we need to set up to go through the system <clears throat> to refine for us. We'll worry about that later. We have more uranium. Let's put the uranium in the system. Okay, so the input would be here. And it should work for us. Let's double check. Is the machine turned off? It's turned off. Turn it on. <clears throat> so here comes our uranium, down to the compressor, 
it'll get compressed. <coughs> now the reason I want to automate this part is compressing takes forever. So I do want it to automatically craft. Now versus making these, there's no refining really need because I already have the tin already set to refine automatically. <coughs> so I think this is fair and I can, like I said, I can load this up with empty cells and it'll already be ready. And then they don't take up any of my inventory spaces. Excuse me. <coughs> so look at that. I think we have enough uranium. Excuse me. <coughs> Something in my throat. But I, we have enough uranium to actually build a reactor right now. But we're going to need other things to build a reactor. So guys, that's going to come whenever we open up the underground base. Not underground, but you know, the... Uh, the mine shaft base. Looks like it stopped. Do we not have juice anymore? <clears throat> I would not be shocked if we're out of juice. Did I move my bed here yet? We are level six. Boom. Boom. Sure. Upgrade our stuff. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna grab some stuff just to throw in the condenser. Um, we got too much junk right now. Like... This lapis. A couple stacks of nickelite. And that's fine. <clears throat> We're gonna throw these in the condenser. And let them become what they will. Yep. Yeah. These eggs. This, we'll just put that redstone in there with it. And the sugar cane. <coughs> <coughs> okay. There we go. Stacked up. Nice and neat. Well, we need to sleep. And I could finish glassing that. I have glass on me. There we go. So there's... There's a chicken, or duck, stuck down there. And he is continually laying us eggs. Now I could take these eggs and throw them down there to try to get more eggs. These guys will continue to be stuck down there. And they'll continue laying eggs for us. So I could do like this. Because an egg has a chance at creating another, um, another one. So, that one failed. I don't even know if it broke. But, so we could leave that there and try to hatch more eggs. And we will, for now. There's a black wolf out there. Let's get in our house. And sleep. So, right now we need a diamond if we want to condense that redstone into diamonds and get some solar paint or some uh, energy condensers up and running. Some of that, you know, the solar flower to getting started with EMC, which was actually the original point of the series, and I can't believe I turned away from it so quickly. We're going to go ahead and grab this finally. We're close to abandoning this base. There's actually quite a bit of it here. And coal has a very good EMC value. Now, we're going to need quite a bit of EMC um, to build even the most basic flower arrangement. And I, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to rely on EMC in this Tekkit playthrough. But I do want to build that because I kind of talked about how, you know, getting started with the EMC, the equivalent exchange double E. And I never did. I just completely like went off base because I think it's because I'd gotten so spoiled with it before. I didn't want to do that again. Because it, it does feel like cheating. Let's be honest. Turtle, I think I'm going to let you loose. You can roam around the house now, buddy. It's not like you can go anywhere. Yeah, you're free. Roam around. I don't think you can fit downstairs. Are you following me? Ninja Turtle. 
I could take him outside and let him beat up some stuff. Can I hurt him? Let's see if he'll follow me out. Here, deal with these. Turtle. Turtle, get him. Nope, he's not doing anything. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh well. We died in our house. Turtle was useless. Did I kill my turtle? I think I did. Oh well. He was in the way. Can't help it, guys. He was in the way. I tried. Look at all this still down here. And look at that stair I just placed randomly. That's really good of me. Alright. I didn't lose my diamond, so we're good. We don't have a helmet anymore, do we? So we do kind of need one of those. I think I would like to get outfitted in some gear. Let's go outside. So our, our miniature farm here is grown away. And we're actually going to need some food, aren't we? Oh, well, the manual farm will continue to grow here. This is for whenever I remember to come through. I can harvest it up. But for right now, we need some food. Buddy. Rip off. No food. And here's our other manual farm. But I don't feel like harvesting it right now. I would rather kill these guys. Like I said, we don't have much food. Look at all these eggs, too. So maybe we can get some more eggs in our our uh, chicken farm. Oop. Which then, that would, I guess wouldn't be the worst thing. I thought I saw a pig over here. Some rotten flesh. There's the piggy. I'll turn off that death point in a minute. Hiya. Wow. I'm just missing. There was oil over here, wasn't there? There was, I need to get that oil. Eek, eek! So... Mini cave. Alright, let's turn off that death spot. Death point. Do, do, do. What is the button? There we go. Remove. Keep. There we go. All set. Um, <clears throat> we have a lot of stuff we can do with our house and cannon yet. I forgot about the cannon. Cannon's so awesome. <clears throat> but I don't know exactly what to do with it yet. What's with the texture living? It's kind of weird. Stuff is. Popping in strange. Let's look at this. Is it still digging? It is. I don't want to fall. <clears throat> we need this thing to dig us up some diamonds. This is where we're at. Yeah! Die bird. It's got a steady stream of stuff coming in. Okay, so let's go up into the house. I wanted to check this. So no, it's not stacking up power. So we really could use some more solar panels. And we could just go straight nuclear. But I don't, I'm not really sold on going nuclear yet, guys. Our chicken's gone. Those eggs didn't even break. Did they just go right back in here? No. Don't know. Don't know, guys. Don't know. So I'm going to set up some other basic machines so that way we can get some ideas of stuff we're going to do in the future home. I can't cook this stuff in here, can I? No. Sad day. 
Um, we'll just try to throw some stuff in here. Like that extra automated table, red depth wafer, wires, lever, torch, glass, sort. And we'll condense some of this other random goop. That's the best thing for the condenser, just getting rid of like the random goop that you have no use for. Like, you know, a stair. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the stair, so just throw it in there. This piece of dirt. Now let's go ahead and cook some meat. Uh, doop. And we got some ore, or some iron and stuff, so let's go ahead and throw it in here. We already have some chicken, that's nice. But we're gonna put this refined iron and regular iron in here. And the gold. And that's good for me. So with this, still no diamonds. We do have a fiery crystal, I think we'll ship that over. And let's get this ore. We're gonna set it to go through the system too. Because when this quarry is done, we will set up another quarry to keep using our current system. Oh. And I do have those additional floors that I could set up machines, and same here. It's just... I don't know. I just... I have to tear out the floors and stuff to make it work, and I just don't want to do that with this house. I think I could do a better layout with the... just starting from scratch. Okay, so... Tungsten, gravel... How do I want to do this? I could put another gold pipe here. Hmm. Got an idea. Not really. No, I don't. Hmm. Well, we will get a lot of copper ore, so let's put copper ore to continue down the green path. That works. Uh, we'll throw this in here. Get our chicken. And, hmm. This other stuff will just <clears throat> drop in the manual drop box. You guys don't remember? We have the manual smelting drop box here. So it'll suck it out. <clears throat> it goes into the system. It'll circle around until it gets processed. And then it'll go to one of these. So I've been learning a lot about you know, setting up these systems, doing this, because I really don't have a lot of knowledge of TechIt. So I'm just learning as we go. And we still don't have a diamond. You can create a diamond though, right? Yeah, the philosopher stone in gold. Philosopher stone requires that we have a diamond to begin with, so never mind. I was just kidding. I could get my divining rod and go down to the underbelly and try to find a diamond. I think that's the plan. All right, factory, do your thing. I'll be back. The underbelly we go, my friends. Let's see what this thing's set to. Whoop. What's it, G? Yeah, we'll set it to long, long range. If we can just catch sniff of a diamond, we'll dig till we get to it. Hopefully we don't die down here. It's been a, uh, been a while. And sniff. No. <clears throat> Uh, 
nope. <clears throat> That's uranium, though. Oh, come on. What are you doing? <coughs> Don't you shoot me. Oh, diamond. If you didn't see, I switched it down to the 16x. Because if that uranium was close, I was going to go for it. Alright. There we go. So we should have some diamond right here. Right below where we've dug before. Interesting. There it is. Diamond. Let's pop out the divining rod and just see if we're lucky. Nope. 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 Not seeing any. We're just going to give a couple more taps, see if we find any diamond close. It's very dark. I have, n I have some torches. It sounds like lost in here. Alright, I don't think we're going to see any other diamond. So, that's good enough. I don't know how many we can... <clears throat> if we can make all that we need, I think we need... What? Um... A diamond block for each machine. So that's all. We're gonna need like a stack of diamonds. Or wait, do we need that many? I can't remember. We'll see. <coughs> but I'm willing to spend a bit of material to get the solar flower going because we have EMC coming in and. We're not for want of materials, really. I mean, we actually are doing fairly well. So let's see. We got eight off that? I didn't even realize we got that many. So let that shrink everything down. Meanwhile, let's look at the recipes. So what are they called? It's an energy collector. <clears throat> a diamond block, glass, glowstone, and a furnace. Okay. And we're going to need one, two, three, four. At least four of them to get us started. Hmm. Might <clears throat> I might condense some tin because we're not going to actually use uh, we're not going to use that much tin. We're not going to use that much gold either. I'll we'll use twelve gold. Hello, who is at the door? We're not going to use that much c silver either, so we'll use sixteen silver. Um, still not enough diamonds. Let's craft these into a diamond block. Alright, so we need diamond blocks, yo. So those. Go ahead and dump my cobblestone. Turtle meat, my ostrich egg, an arrow, some bones. These things don't condense. So we're gonna need some more. Hello? Anyone out here? Give me that. I'm out. 
Peace. Peace. Let's sleep. Okay, so we're gonna need to eat when we wake up. We need. We have two diamond blocks. We need at least two more. We're gonna need another energy condenser. I think. I guess we could just leave it on a relay, and it'll just make fuel. Yeah, that's fine. Well, we have this alchemical chest, so. I guess wouldn't be that far fetched. We could condense some of these. Well, yeah, let's get rid of some of the string. I'm gonna keep the arrows. String, saplings, some useless stuff, you know? Rotten flesh. I don't think I'm gonna ever use that. I'm gonna keep all that stuff. Some Nicolite, two stacks. And we're gonna keep Lapis, we're gonna need the Glowstone. Dude, we're gonna need Obsidian too. Basalt Cobblestone. We can EMC a door. Okay. And some stone stairs. Oh, yeah. And this. Give me two full stacks, three full stacks at ten. Sounds good. You know what? Let's take the bed. I'm finally going to move the bed up to the other place. Come on now. Don't make... Don't give me a hide. I will totally turn it into diamond. <clears throat> okay. Let's see where this gets us. This, 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 this. This, 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 this. And that should be good. Oh, this. So we have two. I don't think we're gonna get there. String is worth a fair little bit of EMC. Not enough. <coughs> hmm. I guess I could throw all that coal in there. I don't think it's gonna make enough difference. And a diamond. There we go. Alright, so let's get the basics set up. And we'll call it an episode. Condenser, or collector. So glowstone, glass, furnace. Uh, we do not have cobblestone. At all. Oh, but we do have furnaces. So. Yeah, we should have everything. So the recipe was diamond block, glass, furnace, this, right? Oop. Bam. Let's make two. Why do I keep doing that? So we have two of those. And the other thing we need is a relay. Antimatter relay. So diamond block, obsidian, and glass. Alright, there we go. And we'll set this up right here. Right above this station. No, right beside it. Well, that was dangerous. Let's get out of here. Dirt. I 
Alright, so the way this will work is we will... We're going to set it on top of here. Set the antimatter relay down. Normally you'd put a condenser. at It's like the center of the star. But for our purposes, this is what we're going to do today. This thing here. And we're going to put one here. So, what happens is you can see it's this is EMC being created. These create an EMC, and so each one of these is creating some. Now this thing amplifies it, in a way. So, it creates EMC, but not much, and these don't create much. But when they're connected to the relay, it gets a bonus. And the higher quality each of these are, there's the base, the Mark II, and the Mark III. The higher quality, the more it produces. But as you can see, this is creating EMC, but it's not turning it into anything right now. It's just basically storing it. So if we put this in here, oh, it just turned it straight into uh, EMC. <laughs> so there we go. You can see this. Here's the EMC this is creating. Now it's going to store up EMC and convert it into the next tier up. So we have glowstone, and you'll see it converts it. I don't think it just replicates, I think it converts it up to the next tier. Yeah, see? So it upgraded it to Mobius Fuel, which has an EMC of basically a quarter of a diamond. But the Glowstone Square Cube already had a fairly high EMC of, I think, like a thousand. I mean, it's pretty good. So then you see that it also took EMC out of the relay to do this. So we take this back out and then it'll start putting the EMC into here. So I could have it... This is the charge thing? Yeah. So there we go. Put the 2000 EMC into the relay, and the relay was, is filling up. So what we really need is an energy condenser. So the condenser would take our chemical chest, four diamonds, and four obsidian. So we can actually do that. If you don't recall, we do have four diamonds up there. Um, if I can get myself out of here. So we have this. And we're going to need some more obsidian. So, let's just take a stack of obsidian. Whoa, nope, 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 nope. Dang it, nope. And we're going to have this, um... Uh... What do I want it producing? Diamonds. Okay. So all we need to do is go get our alchemical chest. Hello, Pigu. Oh. All of our crap. So it's a chemical chest, diamond, 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 and obsidian. And there's our energy condenser. So yeah, let's just set up this final step. What we will do is I'll eventually get a full-blown power flower out here, just Mark 1. I. I don't think I'm going to ever upgrade it, but that way you can just see the power of the Mark 1, not the super god item I made before. So we'll just get rid of this block, we'll put our condenser down, right below. So now what's happening is the relay should feed this. So say when we make um, obsidian, what it'll do, it'll drain the power that this is creating up here, and it'll send it directly down, and it'll create what we want. So, whoop, we didn't want to create diamond, we want to turn this stuff into diamond. So it'll also work the same way as a regular condenser, so it's drawing power from up here, but it also condense whatever's in its inventory. So, you know, I can put this stuff in there and it'll it'll condense it for me. Like these tree taps. Oh wait, I forgot tree taps don't condense. Um whoa, whoa, whoa. cancel. Our iron chest plate should though. Yeah, there we go. So Crafting tables, get out of here. Well, there you go, guys. There's the very basics. Now, to further upgrade this, what we're going to want to do is I'm going to put a 
energy collector, three more of them on here, and that's the very basics. Now what I could do is I could completely surround this. So that setup is four collectors and one relay. And you can do that basically on every face of it. Um, there would be some overlap, so some condensers, this is where it gets real good, is these condensers, when they're connected to multiple relays, they actually um, make an even bigger bonus because the relay gets a bonus for each condenser it's connected to. Now the condensers would divide the amount of power they're putting out by each relay, but the bonus the relays get is not reduced by each condenser connected to it. So there is some my giant solar or my giant EMC flower I made before, the giant cube I did. If you haven't seen that video, check it in the channel. It's the massive EMC build. Um, that one produced a ridiculous amount. It produced so much energy that it actually could, re I could basically replicate it. Um, if I let the game run, I think it was like eight hours or something, it would produce enough energy within itself that I could build a whole new one. So I was actually at the point where I could just, literally, I was making millions of equivalent exchange uh, value basically per minute. So I was at the point where I could create um, so many diamonds that my chains with my pipes were literally just completely full diamonds. So I was making diamond blocks. Same thing. I'd actually make it so that I was making red matter. Like the most valuable thing other than red matter um, furnaces. And then I was actually just making red matter furnaces because I was just like, whatever. You know? So that's it, guys. Tune in next time. Um, we're going to let that just do its thing for now. And we're going to start working on another machine next time. So, on gaming out.